Hello, welcome to my channel today. So, today I am going to be doing a glam makeup tutorial with a neck brace on. Yay! I like to start off my makeup tutorial with applying some lotion. I'm using the Tatcha water cream. Then afterwards, I like to apply the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm going to use a brush this time. There's a whole brush kit. It doesn't really have like specific names for the brushes. So you aren't getting the names of the brushes. Sorry, not sorry. There we go. And for foundation today, I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I love this foundation. It's like very, very full coverage. So if you want to look cakey, this is the stuff and I just dropped the lid. Great. foundation I like to do a combination of both using a brush and a blending sponge I think it works the best for like fully blending out the foundation clearly I'm gonna need a little bit more foundation because obviously I did not get enough to cover my nose god this is hard to do because I can't get down underneath it's a little annoying Oh, great, I looked like a ghost for a hot second. Love that. Love when my camera doesn't like to focus on me. I like to especially apply it underneath my eyes as well because I never get sleep. <laughs> Gotta hide the bags. So like, I just recently Got my nose pierced so like i haven't put makeup on before with my nose ring so <laughs> my nose ring is about to be just covered with makeup after this so yay love that as soon as i got my nose pierced i went to spencer's and picked out like 40 nose rings because they had a deal where it was buy two get two free we love deals especially on this channel So because I am in a neck brace, I'm going to attempt to like try and get down here as much as possible. This is a lot harder than you'd think with a neck brace to do because I can't turn my head. And then also put foundation on your ears because when you look back at pictures and you notice your ears are never the same color as your face. So I always like to put a little bit of foundation on my ears just so that way it looks the same because otherwise it just doesn't. Foundation is applied. Next I'm going to go in with concealer. I actually don't know what exactly this concealer is called other than the fact that it's from NARS. So NARS concealer. I like to use <laughs> this brush. So yeah. And I'm going to apply this like to my whole under eye and also to the side of my nose so that way it helps me determine where I want to contour my nose later. So I apply literally like that. And then I'm going to go in like this and I like to make like a triangle shape and go up like this. And then just do the same thing to the other side. Alright, and after I apply it to the sides of the nose and underneath my eyes, then I'm going to go to the middle of my forehead and make another triangle. Now this is going to give it that effect that your forehead's gonna be a little bit smaller after we like 
or raw into the top part of the forehead. And then I also like to make a tiny line down the center of my nose. So that's what you're going to be highlighting. And then also like the sides of it. That's how we're going to know like where we're going to be putting the bronzer. Yeah. Yeah. And then I like to go down here. Add this here. That way I also have like a guideline to know not to go down there. So then next we're going to blend that in. Oh, also don't forget to add some to your chin. Time to bake. So I like to use the Laura Mercier powder. I'll pour it down into the cap. Like so. I'm gonna have powder all over this freaking brace. Do we care? No. Dip, 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 dip. But also make sure not to apply too much cause you don't want flashback. And apply a little bit to the chin while we are baking in the oven for 360 degrees we're gonna do the eyebrows first step that I do take my handy dandy elf eyebrow pencil all the labeling on this is gone so I can't even tell you the color I use so first oh dang I'm low okay looks like I need to go get a new eyebrow pencil <laughs> So I literally follow the exact lining of my eyebrow, or at least try to. Sometimes I make it too thick, but we're not trying to have thick eyebrows today. So follow the lining of the eyebrow, like so. So I like to start with the going underneath the eyebrow and just lining out the bottom part. So that way I can also tell how much of an arch I want to do and where I should do my arch because sometimes they don't match up. And then I purposely go like this to make sure that the eyebrow starts like where the outer part of my nostril is like this. So I purposely make sure, make sure that they're about right there. And then I'll go on top to where the arch is like so. But I purposely don't make the line all the way across because we want our eyebrows to look a little natural, not completely drawn on. Even though no matter what I do, they always look drawn on anyway. Because, you know, <laughs> I don't have eyebrows. Now that we have it all lined out, I'm going to go in with the pomade. I have the MAC pomade that I like to use. This one's in the shade. It's called Dip Down. So, dipping into this, I have, I'm using a brush from that weird brush set that has a spoolie on the end because I love using a spoolie to blend in the hairs a little bit at the beginning so that way they don't look like sharpie eyebrows because we can't have sharpie eyebrows on this channel. I always start from the middle because, or at least the middle towards the end because that's where it should be the darkest is towards the end. So then I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. Make sure I'm following the same lines that I created even though. And then I'm gonna color it in a little bit. And then the further here I go, the lighter I um, apply the brush to the skin. So that way I can also draw in little hairs to give it that natural effect now that i have it all shaded the way i want to i'm gonna dip it into this again like so to make sure i have some more product on there so that way i can draw the little hairs and then i purposely take it with the angle down like that and purposely go up and flick it up like this like so to create the little hairs like that and then I'll brush them out in case they're a little too heavy or a little too thick and also just to make sure like the eyebrows fully blended all 
right, and I'm gonna go do the other eyebrow off camera, so that way when I come back, they'll both be there. All right, so now that I've done both the eyebrows, I'm going to conceal underneath them just to clean them up a little bit, and hopefully give them back the same shape, because half the time, they're not the same shape. I always start from the middle again, and I just follow the line just to create the shape that I want to have or keep. And plus, it helps me thin them out a little bit more too. Helps them not look as thick. This is what my eyebrow looks like all concealed now. Looks a little better. Do the other side. Yeah, this is so hard. Mm. Even enough. Then. I'm gonna go underneath and kind of blend it out. I'm gonna wipe off the bake that is on my face. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of bronzing. Right. I am taking a kind of angled brush. And this, I just like to go from, from above the ear and just go down a little bit like this and I purposely like to go up instead of uh, down I don't know really why I do that but I just like it better that way like I like the way it looks better to go up like so and obviously I would do underneath my my chin but I can't so, this will do. So I'm gonna do, try to do the other side. Whenever I do my contour, they never look the same. Like one always looks deeper than the other one. I don't know why. A trick, if you make it too deep, take your blending sponge and go like this. It takes off some of the product when you put too much on. Plus, it kind of helps blend it out a little bit, too. I know it's weird for it being, like, a powder product for it to be able to blend out with a sponge, but somehow it works. It works. So I'm going to take a different angled brush, and I'm going to use this to contour the sides of my nose. And what how I do it is I base it off where it's going into the eyebrow, like where your nose starts to go towards into your eyebrow. I do it that way. And then I'll even add a little bit to go to the eyebrows. That way it looks slimmer, like so. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And then I'll kind of do this a little bit more so that way it kind of blends it out. And so that way we can also use all of the rest of the access product that's on the brush. And... Look at that snatched nose. Mmm. Okay. And then now I'm going to go back to adding a little bit more bronzer because now we got to contour the forehead. Now I have a big forehead. I have more of like a five head instead of a forehead. After it looks pretty blended out, I always go down a little bit more towards the sides too. And sometimes I'll take also the rest of the product and add it to the sides of my nose a little bit. Just in case, like, the lines look a little bit harsh from when I contoured, like, with the tinier brush. Because it helps blend it out a little bit better, too. Now we're completely done with the contour. So now, time to do the eyeshadow. Oh, I didn't even say the bronzer I was using. So I was using Morphe bronzer. This... I don't know how to say the name. Debutante. Anyway, so now I'm going to use the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer. Oh my god, couldn't think of the name. And then I just go like this, plop it all over the eyelid. And then I'm going to blend it out with my little beauty blender. And then I'm going to be using today the Norvina eyeshadow palette. We'll go with pinks. Maybe add a little bit of purple. Who knows? Who knows how I'm feeling today? So, I'm gonna start with my transition shade. That's probably gonna be the color Love, right there. 
we're gonna use the fluffy side brush then I like to plop it right here on the like crease yeah let's pretend I know what I'm talking about and then I'll usually try to put it like half on the lid and half on the brow bone like so like that okay and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side oh my god my palette's so dirty <laughs> I don't even care so next I'm actually gonna add in the color passion I'm gonna put that inside the crease Just so that way I can deep it. Now that that's down, I'm actually going to add in a little bit of this pinky wild child throughout the entire lid. Now a tip, if you want it to be like super intense, put kind of a lot on, tiny tap. And then really pack it on like this don't blend it up if you want it to be like fully intense definitely just pat it on like so see here I'll show you the difference too like if I do just the padding and on this eye and I'll show you how it would look if you just rubbed it in like you'll be able to tell a difference See how more pigmented this eye is compared to this eye? Alright, so that is all the way on there. So now, we're pretty much done with the Narvina palette. Now we're going to use my favorite little guy. It is the Glitter Eyeshadow from Stella. This one I think is called Diamond Dust. Yeah, Diamond Dust. This is definitely perfect if you want to do a full glam look. If you want it to just be like settle definitely stop with your eyes here but I'm gonna go all out why not so I literally just go from the inner corner and just go all the way to about I oh, will just pop it on the whole lid oh boom and now I'll do the same thing to the other eye so now that the eyelids look a little like BAM, we're gonna deepen out the crease just a tiny bit more because now it doesn't even look like I did anything to the crease. So taking the same color passion again, deepening it out a tiny bit more. And then if it ever looks too harsh, always just take the other side and blend it out a little bit. Or you can always just add this the color love in again with the fluffy side and just add it to it and blend it out again now that we're done with that part now we're gonna put on eyeliner I am going to use the unique eyeliner this one is uh, the mood struck precise dip and draw eyeliner like you can hear a little ball in there it keeps it like fresh and stuff and this is very like smudge proof like super smudge proof after it's pretty shooken up now i'm just gonna do my wing liner oh she thick okay well that's as even as i can get them i actually don't remember what kind of lashes they are these are because i kind of lost the box for these all I know is that, actually, I don't even know the brand that they're from either. I do know my eyelash glue. I purposely get the black kind because I always put on winged eyeliner with my eyelashes because I always put them on badly. So that way you can't tell how much of a mistake I made because I usually do my eyeliner too thick. So you can't tell the mistakes I made with eyeliner and lashes. So I purposely get the black colored eyelash glue. That and it looks weird like when the white eyelash glue dries on top of your black eyeliner. Like it looks so weird. Like it almost looks like a weird blue. I don't know. 
gonna apply my eyelash glue. Purposely let it dry a tiny bit, not a lot. And then I just kind of plop it on. And then I'll take the little guy and like push it on just to make sure it's fully on. there we go and then I'll usually take this other side and like pinch it together just so that way it makes it easier to blend them when I put the mascara on so now we're gonna do the other lash <laughs> all right I'm gonna do the same thing just flop it on now that both my eyelashes are on so I'll use the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Uh, this one, I think it, this works pretty well, but sometimes gonna be a little clumpy. And then I'll also use the Unique Moodstruck Epic Mascara. I usually use a combination of both of those, but I mostly will use this one for like my bottom lashes because the brush is definitely a lot skinnier when comparing it. So that's that brush. <laughs> Here's that brush. So obviously there's a difference. I'll start with the Lash Paradise first, and then I'll go over it with this, with the Moodstruck. So now I'm also gonna use the Unique um, pencil liner. This one's in white. I'll use this for my under eyes. White tends to make it look more like you have doll eyes versus like if you put black eyeliner on, it makes you look more seductive. I like to make my eyes look more doll-like, and plus it helps. Uh, open them up a little bit more. Boom. <laughs> now that, that part's done, I'm gonna add um, some blush. I'm using the NYX Ombre Blush. Moave Me is the name of it. So I only dip into it like twice. Smile, and I put it on the part that rises up the most on my cheek. And plus it adds some color back into my face because my face is very naturally red. And it looks weird if I don't have like a little bit of pinkish. Oh, pinkish. Pinkish. And then I'll blend it a little bit into my contour so it looks a little bit more natural. Like so. But now, <laughs> the next part is supposed to be highlight, but... I'm a dumbass and forgot my highlight at my father's house. I'm going to use one of the colors that's actually in the Narvina palette as highlight. I'm actually going to use this color Dreamer because that's the closest to the highlight that I use on a regular basis. The highlight I usually use is one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters. I usually use those. So we're going to see how well this works. Because I never use eyeshadow as... Um, a highlight but you know you gotta do what you gotta do when you don't have your regular stuff because you left at your parents house <sighs> then I'll usually add some to my under brow or underneath my eyebrow <sighs> wow this actually kind of works pretty well for highlight looking like a glazed donut love that I always gotta look like a glazed donut. That's always the rules on my channel when it comes to makeup. Then next, I'm gonna add lipstick to complete this look. I'm gonna use the Melted Matte Liquid Latex from Too Faced. All right, now we're done. So now, I usually use two different setting sprays <laughs> at the same time because I love to use setting spray to set it all really in place so first i'll use um the urban decay all-nighter setting spray refreshing god that's the grossest smell that it has to it i don't do you guys like that smell i don't i think it smells like really gross i don't know why and then i'll also use the hangover three in one by Too faced now this one's also a primer as well as setting spray 
I think it's a little weird. But, you know, it really sets it in place. It helps that, with that. And now, we have the finished look right here. So, thank you for watching my channel. I hope you liked it. If not, I'm sorry I wasted your time. But I don't really care because you clicked on this video anyway. So, have a great rest of your day, you guys. I mean, like and comment down below. Subscribe. Um, yeah. Bye.